Clocks are cool, but do you know much about them? I've come to realize my knowledge on how clocks work is very basic. I want to know more. So let's kickstart a clock study by putting this clock kit together. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can order this kit for yourself. Now, on to an unboxing! Okay, so for the unboxing, first off again, so here's the front, and then it's got a flap, which I really like because it reminds me of Legos. Um, and then there's more information on this side that you can read. And then on the back, not much information, and it's also in different languages. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different languages. But basically, this colorful clock operates mechanically using a spring and gears. Learn how clocks are made, how gear wheels work, and how the pendulum keeps accuracy by assembling this yourself. Let's unbox this. Now the box also says all I need. I don't need any batteries. So this is going to be truly a mechanical clock. Okay. So it comes with the pieces and the instructions. Wow. Okay. And yeah, just as I expect. Oh, just kind of like Legos. It's all in pictures. That's awesome. And then on the back. Uh, Again, it's the same thing that was on the this cover right here. It's got information about the different parts of the clock. And then it's in many different languages. So, okay. Now I've read online that this is not gonna be as easy as it looks and that some people and so that it can be a bit hard, so. find out. I kind of like how everything comes in here like that. So my clock is all jumbled up right now. How do I open it? Okay. Will this come all the way off? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Clock face. Oh, I, I don't know, should I take these off? Oh, this is heavy. And it says, warning, never remove this cover. Hmm, okay. Little pieces. I'm kind of scared to take these off, but the pictures, the instructions show not that everything is off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off. I really like this idea because I think this is also really cool about learning how gears work. Okay, so to start off, it's asking me, I think I'll pour these out as well. Okay, so first thing I need to find is a little piece, this piece. Okay, and I'm going to put this piece here. Now, looks like it's facing this way. Oh, and there's only, oh, there's only one way to put it. And it's even grooved. There's only one way to put this, so. Don't break the first piece. We'll go on. It takes a little muscle. Okay, that took a little work. This is definitely some muscle work. I suggest that if you're a kid doing this, that you keep a, an adult or an older sibling somewhere near because I had to push really hard to get this in and it, and it finally, when it popped, that's when it was in. Next, it looks like I'm putting the bell in. Okay, so I'll put the bell in. Oh, that was a lot easier. And then it asks me to use one of these. Now there are a couple sizes, so I'm assuming they're, I'm going to use a bigger one. OK. 
Okay, and another just uh, snap. So definitely listen for the snaps. Now the hammer. Hammer goes up here. Ooh, I'm gonna do that again. Cool. Okay, and then that looks like it has a smaller one of these. Put that in. Does it work? Yeah, cool. Okay. And now I need this piece, which goes underneath. Oh, no more being flat. And it looks like I need this piece. I like this. Instructions are a lot like Lego instructions. Look here. You see, they have like the pieces that you need in a small box and then the picture that shows you where to put them. So that's pretty cool. I mean, if you do a lot of Legos, then that's going to be really helpful. Okay, so I think this goes this way. Okay. Okay, that seems right. The instructions really... Do I have it correct? Because there was a somewhere I read that you have if you are not being very if you're not very precise with putting this together, something will go wrong. And aha, uh -huh, the picture shows this piece going the other way. So I'm gonna change this if I can. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and do it exactly the way the picture says. Flipped it over. Oh, it sounds better. All the way in. Yep. And, and this, you know, now it, when I, if I try to turn this the wrong way, it doesn't move at all. Like when it was flipped the other way, it would move. Now it only moves in one direction. Okay. Step five, I need the yellow gear, the white gear, and the red gear. Okay, red gear goes here, yellow gear goes here, and white gear goes here. Oh, so cool. I love gears, I love how they feel. Now I need the black gear and the little white gear. And I need to put the little white gear in the black gear. And then this goes in the middle. Like this. Okay. It goes right there. And then I need this black gear. And this black gear is going to go right here. Okay, step nine, I need the green gear and the pink gear. Green gear goes here, and the pink gear goes here. But nothing's... moving what? It's interesting. It's like it's moving two gears at once. This green gear is moving this pink gear really slowly and the black gear really fast. That's so cool. Okay. Um, now this one. This goes here. Just like that. Sits on top. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, and then the blue gear goes upside down right here. Okay. Look at that. I guess my 
big question is, and I was like, when I, I you know, and I'm still learning about clocks, so I, I think I'm going to do a lot more research about this little by little, but why do we need so many gears? I mean, I would be interested to find out what each gear is for. I mean, you know, in all, like, why, why, why we, do we need all of these? Why is it just a couple gears enough? Well, okay, I, basic understanding of gears, I understand that you need several gears to make the speed that you want. So maybe it has something to do with speed. What? I'm already... It already says that I need to put the clock face on. But then the, this one doesn't even... Okay. It says I need to put the clock face on. So I'm putting the clock face on.